Judy is working with a fabric outside of her color range. Gerlinda has a two-year-old fabric that's just begging to be matched, and Tammy has busted into her stash for the first time in a long time. Let's help them out. Hi, it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe, and I'm your fabric matchmaker. Today, we have some beautiful, bold prints that were sent in that we are going to match. And our very first one was sent in by Judy. Judy sent in this really fun fabric that has this very large kind of circular print, lots of fun colors, really, really like this. Let's see what Judy has to say about this fabric. Judy writes, I received this fabric from a friend. It is not in my normal color range and I have no idea what to do with it. I think it is interesting and could be a great quilt. Most everything I make is pink, blue, or purple. I am also not a fan of green, so I would not want to bring out that color in this fabric. Can you help me please? Well, Judy, I think we have something really different and really cool for you. So let's check out the pattern that we chose. Okay, Judy, we have chosen to put your fabric in the charmed pattern. Now this pattern is a super fast one to make. And it's very interesting because we have our squares here and our focus fabric is on the border on this square in the center on this square. And then you can see how it alternates here. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna distribute your bold fabric very evenly over the surface of the quilt. So there's plenty of balance and we can get some other color in there to help anchor it. So let's look and see what we chose for you. So Judy, we have decided to put your fabric in the focus position. Now, as you said, it's a little bit different, this fabric that you've sent in, than what we would normally see in a quilt. So I understand why you had some challenges. Because this is a very big print, and it really, it kind of is different. So being a bold print like this, we wanted to get it in just the right place. Now, as you see, we've put it in the focus position, which is gonna go here and then here. Now, what we've done is we've taken your bold print and we've cut it up a little bit just to give you some dimension and texture so that you can really kind of get it in the quilt, but yet anchor it with some other colors. And we're gonna see an image in just a minute and you're gonna see what I mean. So it's gonna go everywhere. This light blue print is here. Now, we have put a number two of this purple with it. Now, you mentioned in your letter that you really liked purple, so I wanted to make sure that I included it in your kit. Now, this purple has a similar kind of movement as your focus fabric does here, so I thought that that worked really, really well. That is gonna go everywhere you see the green here. So it's gonna, it's gonna bring all the purples out in your focus fabric. And then to anchor it, and I know you guys have heard me say this before, Whenever I'm choosing my number threes, one of the things that I do is look at my background color and pull that in. And in this case, her bold print has the black background. So I have pulled in this kind of textural black that's kind of gray, kind of black. It goes back and forth. And that is gonna go everywhere the blue is. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help anchor it. In this case, it's almost as if the black is acting as the place to rest your eye. So it kind of plays two roles sometimes. Our purples are light of the two, and then of course our focus is our star of the show. Now, let's look at that quilt because oh my goodness, I think it turned out great. Now, as you can see how the black and the purple really anchor it, and what's happening is you're just getting little touches of color of your bold print, and it's balanced throughout the surface. And I really like using bold prints in this way simply because Often whenever it's in a big block, it's almost overwhelming. But in this case, it just gives you some really interesting movement. All right, so Judy, for participating today, I'm gonna be sending you one yard each of your number two and number three fabric, as well as the book Stash Busting with Three Yard Quilts, which is the book that has the charm pattern in it. All right, now Judy, you have inspired me to pull something wonderful together for everyone else. I had a little bit of a challenge finding a similar fabric because your fabric is so unique and special. But I wanted to keep it bold, keep it bright, and keep that circular movement in the focus fabric. So we've pulled this one here, and as you can see, lots of colors here, 
um, a little bit uh, stronger circular pattern than what yours has, but it's going to work equally as well. So this is going to go uh, right here in the center as well as on the outside of the alternate block on the borders here and then a little on the edge. Now that's going to give us just a little peek of the print, so we'll see just a minute in that image. Now in this case, I decided to use a red in the number two position. Because I couldn't find the exact print, I wanted to pull in a color that really complemented the focus. So this red worked really, really well. And we've got a lot of depth in this red, and that is going to go everywhere you see the green here, which is basically the center round of each block, as well as a little on the border. And then our number three is once again that nice textural black that has some gray in it, has some black in it, and it is balancing the background fabric on this, on the focus fabric. All right, let's look at this image because I think this turned out so fun. And whenever you're using a bold print like this and we're using, cutting it up, we get those peaks of movement, those peaks of color, just a little window into it, and you can see how wonderful it looks and how great it goes together. So I really think this turned out cool. Judy, thank you for the inspiration. Really love this. This kit is called Color Adventure, and it is our charmed pattern from the book Stash Busting with Three Yard Quilts. Now, Garlinda sent in the next fabric that we're going to share with you. And I have to say, I hope I'm saying your name right. It is a little unusual, and I want to make sure I get it right. So I'm saying Garlinda. That's what I think it is. So apologies if that's not correct. All right, this fabric is so much fun. I really love it. So you actually sent in two, Garlinda, and we really appreciate that. We have a focus fabric here that has kangaroos on it. It has birds, some open wing birds. Here's a lizard. It's very interesting. I really love all of the colors, all of the movement. There's a lot going on. Now, as a companion, you also sent this kind of corally color that matches your focus fabric perfectly. So good job on that. You did great. And let's read your letter and find out what you have to say about this fabric. Gerlinda writes, Hello, this is my beautiful fabric. It's two years old now and getting older. I need to get something made with it. My sisters and I kept going to our fabric store, the sewing store in Dover, Delaware, and I was eyeing this fabric every time. It was still there looking back at me. I know what you mean about that. <laughs> so when I saw that it was getting low on the bolt, I bought the last three yards. If you could help, I would sure appreciate it. And could you suggest a backing also? Sincerely, Gerlinda. Or Gerlinda, I think we have something really special for you, and I've got some suggestions for backing. So Gerlinda, I have chosen the elation pattern for your fabric. And the reason why I have done this is because your fabric is very bold and it really stands on its own. It has those larger images of those really fun animals. It's gonna go in this larger block here. So I think that it's really going to be the star of the show, like we like to say, on the focus side of things. Now your second fabric that you chose was that nice kind of corally peach color that blended so well. I'm gonna put that in the number two position which is where the white is here. And that's going to really bring those corals out to the edge, with that, which I think is really great. So this is going to be a lot of fun with your fabric. We've got some image for you. And let's see what the number three fabric is. OK, we have Gerlinda's fabric stacked here in the order that we're going to be using it. First, we have our focus fabric. Now, as we mentioned, we have all of these great animals on here. And some of them, like the kangaroo, are a little larger. So that's one of the reasons why I chose the elation pattern, because it's gonna, you're going to be able to see these animals in this larger square. Because if we put it in too small, then you wouldn't be able to see them. So it's a little different than the last quilt that we had. So this is going to be perfect here. And as you can see, it's going to be in each square center, each block center. Now, our number two fabric, Gerlinda picked it out herself, and good job, love it. It is this great coral with a texture, and Gerlinda, it matches all of the corals in your focus fabric perfectly. I love the way that you looked at this. You decided that this is the color I really like, and let's pull that out and highlight that, that color. Because when you do that, it's going to actually help you see the color in the focus fabric. So number two coral is going to go everywhere the white is here. Now, as you can see, 
It is the outer border here, but it's the triangles on the alternate blocks, which is great. All right, now to ground it all and to not distract from the focus fabric, once again, we have pulled in our number three. I've just chosen a nice chocolate brown that's got some dimension to it and pulls in all of the browns in the focus fabric. That is gonna go everywhere the green is. And I think it's really important whenever we have a bold fabric that we keep the other two fairly simple so that it really highlights this. All right, now I have a great image on the screen for you to see of Gerlinda's quilt and how it's gonna come together. I think it looks amazing. Such a great choice of fabrics, Gerlinda, and it's gonna work perfectly in this elation and you can really see how it pops. All right, now something else that you asked me about that I wanna to touch on is backing fabric. So backing fabric sometimes can be challenging and I'm gonna pull two out here and the reason why I pulled these two, first on your focus fabric, and I'm gonna lay this up here, there are a lot of these creamy yellow tones. And I think that this particular focus fabric really pulls those out and really is gonna give you a nice backing on your quilt. Your front of your quilt is really dark. This is just gonna give you a little bit of brightness so that if you're putting it on your couch and you turn it over, it'll bring in these yellow tones also. Now, if you're one of these people that prefer a little bit darker color, I did pull this, this one. This is kind of a gray green in the darker color. It has some nice texture to it. And I pulled that because once again, I'm looking at your fabric and I'm seeing this color in your fabric, but it's really a minor color, but it's gonna help connect it all together. So that's kind of how I do it. Now, I always like to look at my selvages and often there's those dots on the selvage. What I would suggest that you do if you're picking a backing and you're not quite sure where to go, pick one of the colors from the dots on the selvage, and that's what I would do. So this looks great, and of course, you can see that the orange would also look really great with both colors as well as the brown. So I think it works fantastic. All right, both of these fabrics are available on fabriccafe.com. Just visit our Fabric by the Yard tab also a little tip that I want to share with you. If you visit our free goodies tab, we have a free goodie sheet that you can download and it will give you instructions on how to make a backing from 45 inch wide fabric. All right, lots of fun here. Now, Gerlinda, for participating today, I am going to be sending you one yard of your number three fabric. But because you also had your number two that you submitted, I'm going to be giving you a little bonus on books. Now I'm sending you the Stash Busting with Three Yard Quilts book. This has the elation pattern in it. But also as a little bonus, I'm going to be sending you our brand new book, Make It Easy. And of course, this one has the eight patterns, just like always, very fun to work with. And I hope that you really enjoy it and continue to be inspired to make three yard quilts. Now let's see what Gerlinda inspired for the rest of us. Okay, now I have something very close to what Gerlinda shared, but not exact. So I wanna just go over it a little bit. It's a very similar style to her fabric, but instead of the animals, the kangaroos and the lizards and the birds, we have some other fun things. So we have some butterflies on this fabric. We have some dragonflies, lots of beautiful flowers, lots of fun. This is also a bold print with that same feel. It is gonna be our focus in this big square here. Gonna look amazing. All right, as our number two fabric, we've pulled together this nice creamy yellow. It's a nice texture, gives us lots of contrast with our focus. However, it does pick up the yellows in our focus fabric, and it's gonna go in our Hasgore triangles here as well as our border on this and on our quilt. Gonna give us a nice little bright sunshine there. Then our number three, we also have the brown background, which I really love because there's so much brown in our focus fabric that is gonna go on our border of our block here, as well as the alternate block half square triangle and on the border here. That brown is gonna give us our grounding that we need because we're using such a bold print on this. So it's gonna work perfect. So really, really love this. Let's check out the image. Now, as you can see here, that nice big square really features the fabric beautifully. So you can see all of those flowers and butterflies and really interesting leaves and vines. 
and it's framed very nicely with the yellow and brown. And it really gives us that interest because there's so much contrast in the number two and number three. So you can really see how that goes together well. All right, let's get you the kit information on this one. This kit is called Fabric Treasures. This is the elation pattern from the book, Stash Busting with Three Yard Quilts. So our next participant is Tammy, and she sent in a fun, fun fabric. We have a, a brown background fabric here with all of these bright, colorful birds on it. And you know what's really cool about each of these fabrics? They're bold in their own right, and this one certainly is bold. We have bright colors, a larger print, and we gotta find just the right pattern to put it in. But before we do that, let's see what Tammy says about this fabric. So Tammy writes, I quilted with my mother many years ago. We took classes and enjoyed making quilts together. It has been more than 20 years since her passing following a lengthy terminal illness, and I have not sewn anything since. Life went on as it does, and although I continued to accumulate fabric here and there, I did not get out my machine and sew. Recently, I decided to upgrade my old sewing machine and start sewing again. While watching YouTube videos, I ran across your three yard quilts, which really appealed to me with their simplicity and design options. I went through my fabric stash and found this happy bird print. When I bought it, I thought it was black, but when you put it in the direct sunlight, it is actually a dark brown. Although there are many bright colors in the print, the dark brown baffles me and I'm not sure if it should be a focus fabric or a number two or a number three. Please help me choose coordinating fabrics and a suitable pattern for this whimsical print. Tammy, I think we have something perfect. Let's check out the pattern. Now, Tammy, I chose the broad strokes pattern for your bird fabric, which I think it's gonna work great. Your birds are gonna go in this nice rectangular space here, and it's big enough that you're gonna get several birds in there and you'll, you're gonna be able to see all of those great colors. Now, the other thing I considered is I wanted to get something really simple for you because you're just now getting back into your quilting and sewing, and I wanted to make sure that you could do something that was fast, easy, and went together really quick. Now, something really interesting about broad strokes I should mention is there are actually no matching seams on this pattern. So you're gonna build your rows here, you're gonna put these together, and you're not gonna have to worry about how these are matching up. So it's gonna go together super fast, and I think it looks great. We've got that image, we're gonna share that. Let's get it on the table so we can. Okay, Tammy, I have your fabric up here on the table stacked together with its coordinates, and I think it's darling. So here we have your fabric as the focus fabric. That is gonna go everywhere. We have this big rectangular block here. And it works really well because your fabric is a directional fabric and this is gonna be perfect for a directional print like yours. And you're gonna see quite a few of those birds in this block, which I think is so much fun because the colors are fantastic. All right, for the number two fabric, I found this fun polka dot that is like a polka dot on a polka dot, which is really cool. And it has all of the colors from your birds. So I thought, why not? Let's keep it fun and whimsical. So this number two polka dot is gonna go everywhere the gray is and a little bit here on the border. So it's gonna really keep the fun and happy. And then for our number three, we have pulled in this great green. Now the green has just a little bit of a white stripe on it. It's like a very faint stripe and it kind of has a little movement so it keeps the whimsy and that's going to go everywhere the red is that you see here. And of course the stripe is going to go sideways so it's going to really be cool as well as on the border it's going to also go sideways. So it's going to really add a lot of whimsy. And I want to mention too the brown background on your fabric I know was a little challenging and I would have to agree with you. So in this case, instead of trying to match the background, I just pulled in some other fun fabrics to really complement the birds. And hopefully you're focusing on all the fun colors, all the fun movement that it's gonna have. And you're not gonna think so much about the fact that the background is brown. So I think it's gonna work beautifully. So I love how this went together. Just that little bit of green to divide those up and it just looks like a fun, fun quilt with all of the colors, all of the bright birds. And I think it works great. And don't forget, this is a super, super simple pattern that's gonna go together in no time whatsoever. All right, for participating today, Tammy, I will be sending you one yard of the number two, one yard of the number three, 
as well as the book Three Yard Quilts on the Double, which has the broad strokes pattern in it. Okay, let's check out what Tammy has inspired for the rest of us. All right, I'm changing it up just a little bit. So for the kit that Tammy has inspired, I am going to put it in the Valor pattern. Now, I love this pattern because it actually has a bordered block here. Now, this is a little bit smaller space than what Tammy had on the broad spread strokes pattern and I'm going to explain why I've changed up the patterns in just a minute when you see the fabric. So our focus is where the red is here and then our number three borders it and this fun number two in the background. I have some great fabric. Let's go check it out. Okay so I tried so hard to find some birds that kind of looked like Tammy's fabric and the closest I could get were these and I think it's very similar. They're a bit smaller though so we're going to change our pattern up as we see here so that we can accommodate for a little bit smaller print. Now this is fun. This has all the bright color birds on it. It's got a polka dot background of little whites and this one is a black background. So the birds here will be our focus. It is going to go in the middle of the block here everywhere you see the red and then in the alternate block here in this small spot as well as on the border. Now this is a much smaller print so that's the reason why I chose the Valor pattern because it has a smaller area. So the scale feels right. Now with Tammy's print and her bigger birds, we chose the broad strokes pattern because it was a little bit bigger block. So it works and the scale works. So that's why we chose the, the Valor for this one. So this is Darling, same fun colors, love that. For number two, we're using the same polka dot, polka dot on polka dot here, on our wonderful turquoise. It is going to go in the background everywhere you see the white and the blue here. And that's going to give us a lot of dimension and a lot of fun and whimsy in that background. And then our number three is this great green. And of course, it's the green with just the little white stripe on it that has a little bit of movement. It's going to go in our borders here as well as our piecing here. And that's going to give us just a lot of fun pop and keep that whimsy. So let's look at the image of this so that you can see what I mean about how much fun this is going to be. We have our birds in the middle of those blocks. That green really anchors it, which is one of the things that is the number three fabric purpose there is to anchor it. And the polka dot is so much fun in that background. So really, really love this. All right, let's get the kit information for you. It is called Whimsical Birds. This is our Valor pattern from the book, Make It Patriotic. Now, thanks to all of our participants today. I really enjoyed working with your, your fabric. And you know I love bold fabric. And if you love bold fabric too, be sure to check out this video that pops up. It's Fran Morgan, your fabric matchmaker. <laughs>